More than one million people die of malaria each year, mostly in Africa. The disease poses a risk to half of the world's population, according to the World Health Organization. Now, along the Thai-Cambodian border, researchers have discovered a malaria parasite that is resistant to the most effective anti-malaria medicine. Colonel Gray Hepner is a key researcher on malaria and deputy commander at Walter Reed Research Institute in Maryland. He says if drug resistance spreads, the number of yearly deaths could double. And it's not just the death toll, it's the number of people who are chronically ill because we can't cure them. So if you can imagine all the people that are chronically ill with malaria today, and some estimates are that there are half a billion people have a recognized episode of malaria every year. And if you think about doubling this, well, it, it, it puts an incredible burden on a society. The recent news shows that some malaria parasites are resistant to artemisinin. Colonel Hepner explains. The artemisinins are the most rapidly effective medicine that has ever been invented for malaria. Artemisia is a plant. Its derivatives are known as artemisinins. The Chinese have used the plant for centuries against fever. But a few decades ago, when malaria parasites became immune to chloroquine and other medications, artemisinin became the world's great hope. In the last decade, malaria control programs have also included insecticide-treated bed nets to shield against mosquitoes that carry the parasites. The nets in artemisinins have helped lower infection rates in many countries, mostly in Africa. For the moment, there is no replacement for artemisinin-based drugs. The Walter Reed Institute has been working to develop a vaccine against malaria, as well as new medicines. Colonel Peter Weina specializes in tropical diseases, specifically malaria. This is the live malaria parasite inside of a red blood cell. Dr. Weina led the U.S. Army's effort to develop a drug against the most severe form of malaria. Intravenous artesanate has not yet received final approval but is now being used in certain cases. We actually have our, our, our formulation available on compassionate use here in the United States and uh, just recently in Canada. Um, and we've donated uh, several hundred vials to clinical trials that are being done in Africa with some of our partner groups. But this drug is also derived from artemisinin. There was an assumption and there was a hope and there was a prayer that resistance to the artemisinins would never happen. Research to find new medications against malaria continue. Out of every 5,000 compounds that show promise, only one of them, statistically, only one of them is actually going to make it to be in a drug that's useful. The World Health Organization and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation have launched a multi-million dollar campaign to control the spread of the artemisinin-resistant parasite. But as Dr. Weiner says, malaria is a disease of poverty. It thrives in areas lacking hygiene and resources, and it will be with us for years. For producer Zulima Palacio, Milar Sega, VOA News.